Welcome to the Essential LabVIEW Keyboard Shortcuts series. I'm Petru, a certified LabVIEW developer and system engineer at Austin Consultants UK. And uh, today I would like to show you 17 of the most commonly used and useful uh, LabVIEW keyboard shortcuts that can speed up your programming. Uh, here in the team at Austin Consultants UK, we use these shortcuts all the time. So let's get started with the keyboard shortcut that I think is most useful and I personally use it uh, most commonly and that is Control e to um, switch between the front panel and block diagram. So let me show you. By pressing Control e I'm switching between uh, seeing my front panel and my block diagram. This is equivalent to going to window and uh, pressing uh, show front panel and the uh, shortcut is highlighted there but a lot of times when you're programming that is a bit too slow. So the first keyboard shortcut is Control e The second uh, shortcut is um, one that a lot of um, uh, beginners in LabVIEW use a lot and it's one that I really liked when I started and that is Control t for Tango and uh, that tiles the front panel and the block diagram. And when I started programming in LabVIEW, I thought this is great because um, it's lovely to see both your front panel and your block diagram at the same time. But um, this is not the best option when programming large applications, which is um, which require usually to to see your block diagram and your front panel front uh, full screen. So that's why um, I prefer to use Control uh, E now for Echo um, more than Control T. So uh, the next shortcut I would like to show you is Control B, which uh, is used to clear all broken wires in the diagram. And I'm sure a lot of you um, have uh, been in the situation where you have a broken wire, such as this one here, and uh, you have possibly quite a lot of them uh, in your block diagram, and you want to clear them uh, quickly. One option would be to go with the mouse selected and press delete. But uh, that again is quite slow when you have a lot of these in your block diagram. Uh, Control B instead clears all broken wires. So let me let me try um, um, having another broken wire somewhere. Yeah, maybe like that. And uh, and if I press Control B now, all of them get cleared. So that's another um, very useful shortcut. Um, the next one I would like to show you is. Um, pressing Control R to run the VI. Um, so, by pressing Control R, I start the VI. And uh, this is a lot of the time a lot faster than going with your mouse and pressing the run arrow there. They are equivalent, but the shortcut is faster. The next um, shortcut is um, the opposite of Control R in a sense is that you can use a shortcut to press your stop button. Um, so uh, what you can do is uh, right click on the stop button and go to um, advanced key navigation and we are going to um, tell the button to toggle when the escape key is pressed and uh, by doing so we can now stop the VI without actually pressing the button but actually by pressing the escape key and again this is much uh, more quick because now we can run the VI with Control R and we stop it with escape so that is very useful. The next um, sh um, shortcut I would like to show you is uh, related to copying items in LabVIEW. So say I want to duplicate this sign function, um, I can just hold down the control key, uh, key and then drag this item with my mouse. And I can do that while I'm holding the control key, I can copy items like that. And that is um, true both on the block diagram and also on the front panel where I can copy items just like that as well. And you can see this makes uh, life very easy when, when it comes to copying files. It's quicker than Control c and Control v So uh, that's, uh, that's Control and uh, click and drag. Let's go back to what we had before. And um, the next 
Uh, the next um, shortcut is uh, related to creating more space on your block diagram because this is uh, something that often happens. You you have, for example, a while loop like I have here, and you've used up pretty much all your space inside the while loop with, with this piece of code. What you can do now, um, say you wanted some more space to the right, you can I, I can just hold uh, control down and then click and drag and then you see that some more space has been added and the, the space that's added is corresponding to the dimensions of the box I'm dragging around here. So um, if the box is very long, uh, the space added is going to be longer and not that much uh, taller. But uh, if the reverse is true, then the space created is uh, more towards in the, in the vertical direction and not in the horizontal direction. So control plus clicking and dragging a box gives you more space in your block diagram. Very useful. Another shortcut refers to undoing and redoing what we've done in LabVIEW. Uh, undoing is like in almost any program, control Z. However, um, the, the important part is actually knowing how to redo something, and that is control shift Z. So let me delete this um, wire and I, I can undo it with Control Z. That's normal. But I can redo the, the deleting of the wire by pressing Control Shift Z. So that is useful um, in lab, useful to know. So um, keyboard shortcut number nine is displaying the context help window. And uh, that is done by pressing Control H. The context help window brings up useful information about um, whatever you're hovering your mouse on. For example, this wait until next millisecond function. And uh, you can toggle the context help window by um, pressing this question mark here. But often you just want to um, use keyboard shortcuts to do this. And the keyboard shortcut is Control H. Again, this is something uh, I use all the time. The next um, keyboard shortcut uh, refers to aligning objects in LabVIEW, and it is Control shift a Let me show you how it works. Let's say we have a number of uh, these uh, functions, which you often do in uh, LabVIEW. You have a number of things that you would like to align in order to make your block diagram look neater. And usually you select them, and uh, you go here and select um, a type of alignment. Let's say we want to select left edge alignment so that uh, the left edge of all these objects has been aligned vertically. And uh, usually this is what I use to align most of my VIs. Well, the shortcut Control shift a um, performs the last alignment that was selected in this box here. So in our case, the last the last alignment is control, is uh, the left edge alignment. So if these um, are um, are like that again, I can select them and press Control Shift A to align all my objects, and that is very useful because oftentimes you have quite a lot of things in your block diagram or front panel. Uh, this keyboard shortcut works in the front panel as well and you want to align them to the left edge. So this is very useful. LabVIEW keyboard shortcut number 11 is Control i to bring up the VI properties of the VI. So you see I press Control i and uh, here I am in the VI properties of this particular VI. And usually what I use this for is to navigate to the documentation section of uh, the VI and put here a description of my VI. And this is useful because if I bring up context help, um, the description becomes available when hovering on top of the icon of the VI. So if I use this as a sub VI in a larger application, I, I'll know what the sub VI does if I use context help to, to see what it does. So that's why uh, you often want to document your code in the VI properties. And the way to do that is to um, go to File, 
and vi properties you can do it like that but why not press ctrl i and just bring it up uh, the next keyboard shortcut is about closing the VI and it is Control w to close uh, the block diagram or the VI as a whole. If, uh, if you are in the block diagram and you press Control w only the block diagram will close. But if, if you press Control w when you have the front panel selected, both the front panel and the block diagram will close. The whole VI will close. So if I press Control w you see the VI Closes as a closes as a whole. So um, again, that's something that speeds up development. The next um, the next uh, keyboard shortcut is useful when uh, you have more um, more than one VI open, which is often the times when you develop a medium to large application. Um, it is Control Shift W to bring up a window that shows you all the VIs and projects that you have open in LabVIEW at this moment. So you can see I have two VIs open here, generate tangent and generate sine and cosine, and I have both the front panel and the block diagram of each of those two VIs open. Let's say if I want to close the generate uh, tangent VI, I can select both by uh, holding shift down, and then I can click close windows. And uh, you see they, they are gone now, and what um, what is left there is the other VI. So again, Control Shift W is um, a useful um, listing of your VIs. Now let's talk about some uh, text editing um, shortcuts. Well, uh, they are not entirely keyboard shortcuts, but they are kind of useful tips if you want. Because the first one is um, to double click to select the whole word in the text that you're trying to edit. So oftentimes you want to delete a word that might be misspelled or something like that. You can just double click to select it all and uh, delete it or modify it. Uh, another useful uh, trick is to triple click to select the whole text. So you see, I'm triple clicking and I'm selecting the whole text and now I can change it. Um, so again, that is very useful. So, uh, keyboard shortcut um, number 16 is um, related again to uh, editing text. And it's not something unique to LabVIEW, but um, I thought that uh, uh, some users might still want to know it, is actually when you edit text, you can use um, the the home and end buttons on your keyboard to navigate to the uh, beginning of the row and to the end of the row correspondingly. However, uh, what's um, what's cool in LabVIEW is that you can, for example, if my cursor is here, I can use Control Home to navigate to the beginning of the whole text, not just the the line, and I can use Control End to navigate to the end of the whole text, not just the line. So I, I think that is useful. You can also use control and the arrow keys, for example, uh, control left arrow, to navigate um, a word at a time. So you see how the cursor moves one word at a time now. And again, this is quite useful. If I uh, press control and the uh, right arrow key, then I'm moving the other way around. All very intuitive and it's not unique to LabVIEW, but uh, they're again quite uh, good uh, text editing tools. And that brings us to the last keyboard shortcut of today, which is uh, being able to select auto tool or the right tool for uh, doing the job that we want to do in LabVIEW. Um, if you hold down Shift and right click, um, this brings up the uh, tool selection box. And what we usually use in LabVIEW is um, this auto tool, which is at the top. So I'm going to click it. It became selected. And that's what we usually use. You probably used it without even knowing that you were using it. Uh, however, sometimes uh, by mistake or somehow you can select uh, just one of the tools, for example, the selection tool, which has, I've just done. And uh, that allows you to drag things around and select them but it doesn't allow you to edit the text so even though i'm double clicking nothing happens on the text so uh, by 
bringing shift uh, right click into action we can select again the the auto tool and now we can edit our text and uh, and do whatever we want basically the auto tool uh, determines determines itself what we want to do and how we want to edit um, the front panel or the block diagram uh, however um, to select the auto tool there's also the shortcut shift tab which automatically enables the auto tool so let's say i've uh, selected the selection tool and now i can't edit my text i press shift tab to re-enable the auto tool and now i can edit my text so that brings us to the end of the um, essential labview keyboard shortcuts uh, discussed today and i hope that uh, at least one of these shortcuts was new to you and um, feel free to leave any comments or uh, suggestions below.